Hello, welcome to Vicky's Kitchen and Craft. Today we are making very simple palak pakora or spinach fritters. Okay, for this recipe we are going to need besan or chickpea flour, palak or spinach, salt, anardana or dry pomegranate seeds, hink powder, red chili powder, water, and oil to fry. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna just make smaller piece. You don't need to use a knife, but if you like it, you can do it, but it's okay. So you can just make a small piece with your hand if you want to. If you wanna cut with a knife, you're more than welcome to. So here, we don't want them to be really fine, okay? You wanna see the leaves because once it's dipped in, Basin is gonna be fine. So here we make this. Now we can add our hang powder in there. Hang powder, our salt. We can check it how much we need. Our chili powder. It's a red chili powder. Not too spicy, but if you like green uh, chili pepper, you can choose that too. And I have anar dana, which is pomegranate seed. It's dry. I soak in a water for a little bit. It just gives tanginess to our pakoras. You don't have to choose it, but I want to do it. Let's make sure you wash them. Sometimes it has a dirt and also I want to let you know one thing make sure you wash really well your spinach because they're always dirt so that's all we're choosing and now we're gonna mix it up so all the salt and everything mix in there I don't want to choose a spoon for this because if I need to break these leaves I can make it smaller pieces now we're gonna add our besan. That simple. This pakora does not require so much um, ingredients. Like you don't need many. You want to just bind them, and they are very crispy. So you might don't need water in there. So. I'm sorry, my hand is wrong, so... In India, every bedding or any function they have it, they always have a spinach pakoras and they are the best. Because you don't use so much stuff in there, but they are super... Uh, crunchy or crispy, whatever you call. We can add a little more. We don't need to, but... I don't think I need water for this one because I washed the spinach. It does have a water already in there. But if you like it, you can add a little bit water. I don't think I am gonna use because I'm not using so much um, Basin in there because um, that uh, way we can get more crispiness in there. If you have a more basin, you won't get that crispy. These pakoras are not gonna be that crispy. So, except you, if you wanna do like less crispier, you can use less basin. And you don't need many ingredients. So, if you want, you can add cumin seeds but I'm not because originally they were not using too much spices in there. So here, you're all good. Our mixture is ready. Now we're gonna go to the stove to fry them. Okay, so now we're gonna check our oil. If it's, yeah, it is good. So now we can drop our 
spinach pakoras in there. See, that's simple. You don't need to do too much effort for this. Sorry to forget, uh, forget to tell you that I turned on the stove while I was mixing um, my spinach and basin because otherwise it take longer just to save the time I turn on my stove and heated up my oil. Sorry about that. It should look like something like this. See here, they're crunchy, very crunchy. See here? This is how they should look. I don't know, add turmeric. You can add it if you want to, but I do not want it. So it's time for them to be taken off. Look at that, they're all good and crispy. Okay, so we can add our rest of the pakoras in here. You can make how big or how small you want, but thinner they are, crispier they are going to be. There we go, all good. Okay, so our crispy spinach pakora is almost ready. Uh, let's uh, put it in a plate and I'll be right back. Okay, here is our crispy and yummy palak pakora or spinach fritters ready to eat. You can eat with ketchup, tamarind chutney or just as it is. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you with a new video. Until then, enjoy.